Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and in today's video we are going to talk about adjustment of chromatographic condition as per USP general chapter 621. We are going to talk about adjustment in liquid chromatography in case of isocratic illusion and more specifically we will talk about the adjustment in column parameters. The point number one and the point number two is already discussed into my last video and you can go and watch the discussion. So in this time we will not talk about point number one and point number two but we will talk about the point number three, four and five. What is the point number three? Adjustment from totally porous to superficially porous particles. Adjustment in internal diameter and last one is the adjustment in column temperature. Let us begin our discussion with the point number three that is adjustment from totally porous to superficially porous particle. The plate number n shall be within minus 20% to plus 50% relative to the prescribed column. So if you want to make the change into the uh, particle size in terms of its porosity, right? You have to maintain the plate count between minus 25 to plus 50 percent relative to the prescribed column. Prescribed column means the column mentioned into a monograph. And as long as your plate number is in between minus 25 to plus 50 percent you are allowed to make this change. You need to also understand whether the system suitability criteria is getting fulfilled with the proposed change. Selectivity and illusion order of the specified impurities to be controlled are demonstrated to be equivalent. So if you are changing the uh, particles from completely porous to a superficially porous, there can be a change into the selectivity. But you need to confirm that the selectivity is not getting compromised because of this change. Let us understand with the example now. And example over here is the plate number is the determining factor. I assuming that the point number two that is system suitability and point number three that is selectivity is being taken care of. So the particle num the, the plate number with prescribed column is 10,000. So calculate the minus 20% to plus 50% of the plate number relative to the prescribed column. Look at the point number one, right? The same point is captured over here. So minus 25% will become 2500. So 10,000 and then minus 2500 becomes 7500. So the reduction by 25% into the plate count as per the prescribed column is 7500. Similarly, the 50% increment into the plate number will be 10,000 plus 15,000 is equal to 25,000. Okay, so I think I have made a mistake over here. And uh, this plus 50% should be how much? It should be only 5,000, right? If the 10,000 is the plate numbers I'm getting with the prescribed column, then the 50 percentage of it becomes 5000 and 10,000 plus 5000 will become 15,000. So my apology for the calculation mistake over here and I corrected it. So with plus 50 percent change means the plate number should be around 15,000. So as long as my plate numbers are between 7500 to 15,000, right? The change is going to be acceptable. Yeah, so let me correct over here also 7500 to 15000 
so as long as n n stands for partic uh, the uh, plate number is in between 7500 to 15000 the change of the particle from totally porous to superficially porous is allowed the next important point is adjustment in internal diameter of the column so the internal diameter of the column may be adjusted if no change in particle size and our length is made in case if you are changing the internal diameter you may have to change the flow rate to increase the linear velocity and we'll talk about the change when we discuss about the adjustment into a flow rate the point number five adjustment in column temperature so according to the usp general chapter 621 you are free to change the column temperature by 10 degrees celsius so thank you very much for watching this video and if you want to get such kind of very useful content the pharma growth hub can certainly help you join the pharma growth hub by clicking the link given in the description below by clicking the link in the description you will be able to join the whatsapp group of the pharma growth hub and you will be able to receive a very interesting and important content thank you so much